Good morning. Today I am headed out to the Colorado City for a little job, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm going to be talking about the off-road trailer. I had some footage that I threw together and hopefully it can paint you a picture of what's going on with that. So first of all, people are driving these side-by-sides everywhere. And uh, sometimes they're not making it back. So they give us a call to go get them. We had to get creative to get some of these side-by-sides out of the situations they were in um, using our existing equipment. And it worked, but none of it worked well. The first system that we used was just an old trailer that I had. It took two Jeeps to drag that thing back through the sand um, because of several reasons, but it was really low and on the uneven terrain it would drag the body of the trailer a lot. Some of the jobs we actually drug my tow truck up into the sand which is a lot of work. It was hard on the, on the Jeep and hard on the tow truck. So here's how we solved the problem. Alright, so what we have here is my new off-road trailer. We took a, an old boat trailer that we didn't need for a boat anymore and shortened it up, flipped the axles. We're trying to keep it as light as possible, but it needs to be durable. Here's the new off-road trailer I've been working on for the last two days. It's an old boat trailer that we're repurposing. Flipped the axles and got pretty good ground clearance now. Putting a deck on it and cut it a little bit shorter. Should have it done here within next couple days. Introduce yourself. I'm Colin Letzel, I'm 14 years old, and I like helping my dad in the shop. Look good? So I've been putting in a little bit more work on this trailer, trying to get it ready for the summer dune season. I got my son coming over to weld for me. So I've just got a few more parts to fabricate and then it's just assembly. You ready to do some welding? I guess so. <laughs> He's been welding all day. Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to get after it, see if we can get this trailer done in the next day or two. Well, it's day four on working on the off-road trailer. Worked on the ramps today. So they're aluminum bleacher seating, but I reinforced them with some one inch, uh, with eighth inch wall square tubing. So they're not too heavy and they're gonna be plenty strong for what we're doing. Rudy stayed here last night and finished putting all the deck on so and we'll be storing the ramps in this hole in the middle they'll lock in on both ends that's where we'll store them so yeah a little more progress got the winch mounted it's a 3500 pound winch remember we're recovering side by sides and four wheelers so we don't need a big winch well the shop is kind of a disaster We've been working on the trailer a little bit, got the ramps done and secured, got the most of the wiring done. I'm just working on the plug. If 
plug up front. Um, we've got it up on the jacks so we can, I'm gonna be putting limiting straps on the axles so that we don't flip the shackles when we get in extreme off-road situations and that it's always a pain when that happens and they seem to flip really easy but they don't flip back very easy so this trailer is working out pretty good it's doing what we need it to do i'm very happy with its performance a couple of things left to do on it to finish it up but definitely on the right track with it so ed got this trailer painted while no one was looking so i didn't catch any film of that but it's basically done for what we need now so pretty happy with with it in its current condition.